And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, day 95! Ah, uh, thank you, thank you everybody. Anyways, hey guys, I was wanting to always expand stuff on this channel, so why did not I just thought of making this new series called Storytime, but that's with day 95. So today we're going to be tackling the, the probably one of the biggest wonders of all time, how I got into Mario. Well, let's see, it, it all started back in the day, I think it was like back in like 2010, around 2010, me and my cousin, my cousin had this like red Nintendo DS, and it was like, I used to, we used to play on that thing a bunch of time, and then, and then he, I saw this game, he had a few actually, we had um, Super Mario 64 DS, Super New Super Mario Bros. DS, and Super Mario, Mario Kart DS, used to play the hell out of it, but yeah, yeah, that was basically that, and then a couple years go by, I got myself my own copy of Mario 64 DS, I used to get, also play this game called Cars 2, the video game on the DS, super fun, and then like, a few years past, I think when I, I, when I turned 7, I remember this one vividly, and I turned 7, I got my own Nintendo my old DS, I used to play a lot of, a lot of, uh, freaking weird-ass games, like, Team Movie Zoom video game, freaking Hot Wheels the video game, Toy Story 3, but this week is not about that, it's about Mario, so yeah, the freaking time I saw this guy, and it was like, this red Italian guy, bro, I didn't even know any of the characters, like, I swear, from what I remember, I used to call Yoshi Mario's pet, and freaking Wario, the only characters I ever knew were Mario and Luigi, I used to call Wario the guy with the boo-boo on his nose, and freaking Yoshi freaking Mario's pet, yeah, I forget, I remember when I, yeah, creative names, also, yeah, I don't think Kid Dane was that smart, Kid Dane also, also thought it was a good idea to um to freaking try and take stuff without asking. Boy, did I get in trouble for that? <laughs> yep. Yeah. But anyways, but that doesn't matter. Freaking video games been part of my life since like since um since the beginning of time, and it was all thanks to this red boy right here my main man actually mario was actually the one who introduced me to other nintendo franchises like i can remember my first smash bros game was super smash bros for the nintendo 3ds I used to play the hell out of that thing mario introduced me to these other characters like like link freaking zelda little mac all these other nintendo characters and it also introduced me to like one of the biggest fighting series of all so there's a plus there now, other than Mario, I used to, I never really played that much games when I used to be a kid. I used to, like, I used to do other things, like play with toys, I guess. Freaking, got this, um, blue train right here, this, this legend. And we also got this, um, other, this red car, another legend. But yeah, video games was really that big for me back in the day I like now where where I mean if you noticed how Mario has impacted my life I mean look at my channel freaking contents of Mario but yeah but over the years I I have there was this one time like before the Wii U games like in 2017 where I wasn't really much focused on Mario because at the time I didn't have a switch and and yeah, it was more like cars, I guess. But don't get me wrong, I still was interested into the thing. I mean, God, it was fun. And when the Mario movie got announced, I, I was so excited for that. That was um, probably like one of the biggest things I was all was really excited for. Yeah, and when I got my Switch, I, I, I got, I made myself a goal to get every single Mario game on. On the Nintendo Switch. 
yeah yeah that's basically it i also remember freaking um mario like when mario freaking i used to also watch like a lot of mario stuff on youtube like my two biggest boys were my big guys were super mario 134 super mario logan which is sml now and of course why not forget the biggest one of all your boy smg4 man i used to watch these guys like daily then like oh my god it was like so much fun i used to like go get up every morning i used to just watch one of the most memorable ones for me was from mario 134 was his cooking with chef mario video i also also there was this other guy called big yoshi fan i used to watch this stuff so much i used to love watching the summer smash shows because they were like so much fun it's freaking crazy and that actually kind of in, they actually kind of inspired me to do the Dana friends Ad adventures thing same thing with other accounts like super mario richie awesome mario bros freaking crazy mario bros those guys are legends and i and i appreciate what they're doing you can probably see what how mario has basically impacted my life i mean look at this look at my if you guys saw my room tour i have nothing but mario i mean i have spider-man 2 but wait i love spider-man 2 but that's maybe that should be a video for another day but yeah but like in the but yeah nowadays i you guys could probably tell like how much mario's impacted my life since like since i was five to like now i mean hell i'm only 17 and so i have a big adventure yet to come and probably a handful of other mario games too which i'm very very excited for the newest mario game that's coming out i'm super excited for is super mario wonder and bet your ass i'm gonna be playing a bunch of videos for that one but yeah that was basically it i think for my short story so um thank you guys so much for watching um comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye